I keep a healthy headspace by keeping busy, uh, by having people around me that I trust and that I can talk to honestly about how I'm feeling. Definitely eating healthy is one of the major things that, that will you know, put you in not only a good space mentally, but also a good shape physically. It's having something other than just work or um, it's, really, it's really important to me. Doing things that I'm passionate about, things that I love. I have bad days, everyone has bad days. If you do find yourself turning to drugs and alcohol, then there is definitely someone that you need to talk to. When you're feeling down or low, there's some really practical things that you can use in your everyday life. Breaking things down to really small tasks, one day at a time, not thinking too much about the bigger picture, but just what can I do right now. Positive self-talk can really, I guess, boost your confidence. It's gonna be all right. It's not the end of the world. You will get up tomorrow and um, you know tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Getting a good night's sleep and, and going to bed at not a ridiculous hour and turning off your phone is a big thing as well. Often lack of sleep makes us angry, frustrated. Um, we can't think clearly and we'll make bad decisions. I've tried meditation. I found it very beneficial for me. Um, in not only calming myself down, but visualising what is to come in my life. Taking that time for self-reflection to analyse where you are and just to enjoy the positive things that you've got in life. I think writing a lot of things down um, is something that can help as well. And just get things off your chest, because I think that's, to me, the biggest issue is people don't, don't talk about it enough. Verbalising, I'm not feeling quite right, um, has really helped. and doesn't mean I know what's going on or what that feeling is but it starts a conversation with, with those around me. My old, my old man, love him, typical alpha male, probably not the greatest at asking for help. And there's a little bit of that in me. For a long time, I tried to bottle everything up and it just doesn't work. I didn't feel comfortable in speaking to other men and didn't think that they would understand what I was going through. I guess I thought they might think I'm weak. It's not a sign of weakness. It's actually probably more a sign of strength that you can go and get help. Friends or your family, your parents, um, people at school or work. It's just sort of identifying the right person for you or the right network for you where you feel comfortable going up and having a chat to them. Often someone being there is enough, but sometimes you need a little bit more. Go to a headspace centre, go to somewhere where you can go and talk to someone. I was able to seek that help through, through a doctor and a psychologist, um, which then got me on the right track. If I had my time again, I'd, I'd change that and I'd go get help a lot sooner and it would have made my life completely different. Chances are that there's um, you know, somebody else around you who's going through something very similar. You don't have to try and fix everything overnight. Um, it might be just you know going to bed earlier or it might be changing your diet, going for a run three times a week, something small initially, and then you'd be surprised that your motivation changes. Yeah, so if you can incorporate all these things into your life, your family, your friends, um, a nice active lifestyle, then um, the benefits for your mental health will be, will be massive.